Welcome to Hudson Valley Forest. This weekend, the boys and I decided to make an impromptu trip to a campsite that's only three miles down the street from our house. We're in the beautiful Catskill Mountains. We got up extra early this morning, we hit the creek, and Hayes landed a nice brown trout. Keep your tip up, Hazy. Good job helping him, Hayes, Anders. What do you got, bud? It's brown. Oh, brown trout? Yeah. Let's see how you got him hooked. All right. Look at that, Hayes. Yeah, good job, bud. We brought very few items, but the one thing we don't leave home without is our bag of forest supplies. We're going to fry this trout up in a cast iron pan on one of our favorite new toys, the firebox stove. I keep it right in my forest supply bag. It's lightweight, it's compact, requires absolutely minimum amount of wood. It opens right up. And that's all there is to it. We're gonna get our firebox fired up here. One of the things I always have inside my forest supplies bag are my own homemade fire starters, which are simply cotton ball with petroleum jelly on them. Once you have it pulled apart a little bit, just place it in the center. We're gonna put some sticks inside and we prepared a few larger pieces. The beauty of the firebox is that you can add wood from the side as well. And as it burns, you can just push it towards the center. We're digging back into our four supplies bag. Gonna grab a little olive oil. Get some olive oil into the pan here. Get the pan on the heat. It just goes ahead and sits right flat. Try to center it, but the cast iron will spread the heat right out for us. We're gonna season up our trout with a mixture of salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Nice and liberal. Both sides and in the middle. Our pan is hot and we're gonna go ahead and put the trout right in. In a nice hot pan like this, we're gonna give it about three to four minutes per side. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flip our trout over. Beautiful color, nice charred brown. When I'm cooking them like this, I like to get a really nice crispy skin and it makes it just that much better. One of the things that's so great about these smaller trout is you can eat the skin. You don't have to worry about scaling them or anything. You just go ahead, fry them up, and you can eat them. It only took us about five minutes on our firebox stove to get a great brown, crispy skin on both sides of this trout. I cannot wait to dig into this. Thank you. 